Okay, so today, real brief topic um, and somewhat appropriate for the time of the year that we're at right now. So um, in today's huddle session, we're going to talk about 12 reasons to list your home during the holidays. All right, this is not Jay telling you what to say. This is you telling your client what to telling. This is providing you the language and the scripts to be able to talk to your client about why they want to list during the holidays. Okay, so. 12 reasons. Reason number one, um, inventory of competition is lower during this, this holiday season. Okay. Historically speaking, yes, there are fewer homes um, that go on the market during the holiday season. Um, however, uh, your home stands out better with less to choose from. Your odds of selling may actually go up during the holiday season. Uh, many feel like you that you, you um, and don't understand that the mud market will be flooded with activity in the spring. So why not seize that opportunity now? Um, your, your home could potentially get lost in the crowd later in the year. So now's the perfect time. All right. That's reason number one, sir. Will we be able to get this PowerPoint before I wear my fingers out? Here's uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and actually what I'm going to try to do, um, I I'm no, don't know if I can get to it today, but uh, in the very near future, I'm going to put this all into a one page infographic um, branded C21 stuff, hopefully so that you can then slide it into your listing package, have some talking points to be able to talk to your client about it. Okay. Um, reason number two, uh, during this time of the year, the folks that are buying are stinking serious. They mean business. They've got a sense of urgency. There's a deadline. Um, there, there may be fewer out there, but the ones that are out there, they are ready to go. And that means getting you a contract. Um, you know, and I love this language. Think about how fantastic it will be to have all of this finished come spring when everybody else is just starting. Okay. Uh, reason number three. Taking photos in the fall. Who does not love the look of a home in the fall with the leaves in the background or um, even with snow? Put your hand down. <laughs> bah humbug. Yeah. All right. Um, it can be a big asset. One suggestion, try to do it before all of the, the plantings um, completely go away and the leaves drop off all of the all of its leaves. What would you say? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Now, yesterday. All right. Um, reason number four, homes on the interior may show better during the holiday season. When people see that the home is decorated, they see the garland going down the staircase. Um, they smell the smell of, of evergreen trees or um, sugar cookies and baking, whether or not that's um, via real sugar cookies in the oven or the sugar cookie candle that you can guy, get from Bed Bath & Beyond. Either one, it's still people buy with their eyes their, and their nose um, and their ears. So take advantage of that, all right? Home show better during the holidays. Isn't that the most inviting picture ever? Don't you wanna live there? Okay, reason number five. It is absolutely acceptable, it is okay to have restricted showings times during the holidays, okay? There are ways that we can set restrictions within showing time. If you know that you've got family coming in next weekend, we can block that time and you won't even be bothered with the showing time request showing up on your phone. It won't even come, all right? Alternately, we can take the key out of the lockbox or we can just bring the lockbox and set it inside the front door you will absolutely have no concerns whatsoever about your family um, activities being interrupted during this time frame because it's a foregone conclusion. It, it, nobody wants to show their house when they've got family or an event or, or a dinner planned. All right. Just because you're planning that doesn't mean it's not okay to be on the market the rest of the time. Reason number six. Um, houses feel more like homes during this time frame. Uh, when it comes to when you come in from that cold weather, it's cozy feeling inside. Um, emotions start stirring, and it's absolutely time. Home sweet home is has never been more true than during this time of the year. All right, some of these themes kind of 
sound similar, don't they? But it's nice to have 12 of them. All right. Reason number seven, during this time frame, online activity goes up. Okay, so you have the, the, the opportunity to get even more visibility during this time frame because online searches go up. What happens during the holidays? A lot of people have time off. They take time off. When they take time off, honey, look at this one. Okay, that's, that's what you're looking for and you might as well seize in on that opportunity. Reason number eight, um, higher sales prices. Buyers who uh, buy closer to the end of the year may be more willing or more inclined to pay closer to full price than at other times of the year. Um, quite often it's because there's a sense of urgency and there's a deadline during this time frame. I would avoid language with your client that says, I can guarantee you it's gonna sell for more. We can't do that, all right? However, it's very, it's very acceptable to say, I have seen prices go up during this time frame. Um, also, if anybody is telling you, hey, no, there's no activity um, during this time of the year, counter that. The fourth quarter of my, historically speaking, of my, all of my years in this industry, the fourth quarter has always been the most, the second highest producing of my year, all right? Um, Century 21 as a brokerage is going to have a record December for closings, all right? If nobody's out there, then why are we killing it during December, all right? So squelch that really, really quickly, all right? Um, the buyers that are out here during this time of the year have less time to negotiate and less inventory for, to choose from. So what that means to you is you can potentially get your best possible price uh, if, you, if you sell during the holiday season. Reason number nine, um, again, buyers have more time off, days off during mid-November uh, through January. So not only are they looking at more homes, they have more time available to show homes and to go out with their realtor, and they do so at times that are more conducive to you, the, the seller. They do it during the day as, a, and as opposed to evenings or, or weekends. Make sense? Okay, and you can even, you know, at that point have a conversation with, if you wanna have family dinners, we can set up a restriction that we don't do anything after six or seven or whatever in the evenings to try to push things towards uh, earlier in the day for showing activity. Questions so far? Reason number 10. Buyers at this time often have that urgency factor, okay? There is a lot of employers who, um, who hire and, and set up their transactions and their, and their transitions during the holiday season. Um, and also there's a sense of urgency with uh, parents of children. They wanna get their kids in school, in that new school for the next school year and at the Christmas season is a good logical break between one semester and the second, and the, and the second part of the year. It's a good logical break um, so that when they come back from the holidays, the new kid in the classroom isn't that big of, a, uh, of an issue. Yes, ma'am. Have you found that uh, some buyers still have a sense of urgency because of taxes by before the end of the year? Also true, absolutely, yep. From, from a tax perspective, there are some that may want to try to finish it before the end of the year. Um, 1031 exchanges, there's a time limit on those. I don't think that goes, I think that's, you know, like 180 days as opposed to, you know, like the end of the year, but that, that could very well be the case. Okay. Well, semester break for like school age kids. Yep, 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 absolutely. And they have more time to actually physically do the move during that week between Christmas and, and New Year's, okay? Um, I'll tell you a story. Uh, I got into this business in 2015, 2016, during the holiday break from uh, Christmas that year, I think was um, on a Saturday. Between Friday and the following Monday, I put five homes under contract as a listing agent. Five listings I had went under contract during the weekend of Christmas. New Year's Eve, or Christmas Eve and New Year's, or, and Christmas Day, okay? That's my story, I'm sticking with it. I've used that example for the last, uh, all these years, 
and, uh, and, it, and it still works as a script goes. Okay, reason number 11. Um, Post-closing occupancies are a little bit more common during this time frame. Um, if your seller is concerned about, um, you know, I, I, where am I gonna move to, are your probability of getting post-closing possession during this time of the year uh, is, is greater simply because of that sense of urgency and do I use, dare use the word desperation of the buyers? Buyers are more inclined to give the sellers anything they want, um, one in a seller's market like we're in now, but even more so if the time frame makes sense for them and they can do it during, during the holidays, okay? Of course, we can't guarantee it, we can't promise this, but the, the probabilities are higher during this time frame for post-closing possession. Questions on that? Reason number 12. Um, theoretically, easier and faster closings during this time frame. There's decreased demand on lenders, there's decreased demand on appraisers, home inspectors, on you as a real estate agent during this time frame. Um, there is a lot of agents that literally just shut down and don't do anything during the month of December. Um, I don't see that out of anybody in this room or anybody in this office for that matter. This is a time to hustle. You, you uh, strike while iron is hot. So um, given these decreased demands on, on all of these resources, the chances of a much smoother, much faster closing go up during the holiday season. So why not seize that opportunity? Okay, that's number 12. The last thing, conclusion, bottom line is this. If your home isn't available, you may miss your perfect buyer. And if you wait until spring, your perfect buyer is gonna have a whole lot more to choose from. Okay, so why not, if I can mitigate the concerns of showings and, and activity during the holiday, which is easy to do, there is no reason to not be on the market now. Um, if you know you want to sell, don't wait. Uh, you can't win if you don't play the game. It's, it's the, the common phrase. Um, the question really is, why delay? What's the downside? Somebody point to me a downside of, of listing during the holidays. That's what I thought. Other than I just don't want to. You know, that's, that's common. And I guess that's acceptable if that's what your seller wants. Uh, but they should do, go into this with open eyes, fully knowledgeable about um, what are the upsides of selling during this time frame. All right. Short and sweet. That's what I got for you. Any, any last questions? All right. Let's go up there and make it happen. <laughs>